Hi, I'm Kayla Whitworth from Therapeutic Associates. Um, welcome to today's talk on running. Today, I'm going to do a brief description of a warm up that you can do if you're going for a quick run. And then I wanted to do a brief discussion on proper gait mechanics while running to prevent injury. So, the first thing we'll talk about is the warm up. This will be very brief and we'll spend the majority of the time on the gait, gait portion of this discussion. So a couple things you can do just to get your muscles loosened up, which is the purpose of a warm up before you do any running, are these four exercises that I'm about to show you. The first one is a side shuffle. Just side shuffle side to side, followed by a grapevine. Most of us have done this before. Followed by leg lift, straight leg raises. Now keep in mind when you do this exercise, you don't want to round your back too much. A lot of people round their back here. You want to keep your hips straight. And walk like so. And then the last thing you can do is a lunge. So the lunge is nice because it's getting ankle mobility, it's getting quads woken up. It's going to help get all those muscles firing before you go for a run to prevent any injuries. Now, after you go for your run or during your run, it's good to think about um, your mechanics. Oftentimes, people end up with overuse injuries due to poor running mechanics. So when we talk about running mechanics, we need to talk about where your foot is striking underneath your body. It's not necessarily about what part of your foot you're striking on, but where you're striking under your body. So your foot should land directly under your body. Some people will land flat footed. Some people land on their forefoot. It doesn't necessarily matter. One way to help you to do that is to change your cadence. So get your cadence up to 80 to 90 beats per minute on one leg. Oftentimes people like to listen to music that has this beat, helps them keep their rhythm. Um, but another thing to think about is what your hips are doing. So as your leg comes through, you want it to strike directly underneath you, reaching your hamstring back behind you. Make sure your hips aren't bent forward, so you're not running here. You want your hips nice and straight and your body slightly leaning forward, chest up, and then you should have good rotation in your thoracic spine. So try some of these adjustments on your run. See if they help to lower the impact on your body. And um, I hope this keeps you injury free. Thank you.